Hey guys, what's up? So we're going to be doing some, we're going to be looking at some challenges. But we're not going to be doing any challenges. We're going to look at some of the dumbest challenges that you should never ever do. So guys, before I begin, do not try these at home. You will, you could hurt yourself and the people around you. These challenges are so stupid that a lot of people have died trying these challenges. So let's go on with this video. So we're going to look at the dumbest challenge. I already know we're going to do. So let's look up the Benadryl, Benadryl challenge. Let's look at this stupid challenge I know already, the Benadryl challenge. And let's, we're going to do the Wikipedia page because I love Wikipedia. <sighs> Alright, let's look at this stupid challenge. Alright, let's take a look at this stupid challenge called Benadryl challenge. Alright, it says here, the Benadryl Challenge is an internet challenge which emerged in 2020 and revolves around the deliberate consumption, abuse, and overdose of Benadryl, commonly seen in the United States under the brand name Benadryl. Oh, you mean diphenadramine? I don't know how to pronounce that. The challenge um, spread on TikTok, instructs participants, or the, way, or the way they do it, people on TikTok, to film themselves consuming large doses of Benadryl for the purpose of hallucinating. Several participants have been hospitalized as a result of the challenge, including three teenagers admitted to the Cook Children's Medical Center after consuming at least 14 Benadryl tablets and 15-year-old Chloe Phillips, an Oklahoma teen who died from an overdose after attempting to take part. So guys, you guys know the drill. Do not do this challenge. This is stupid, and this is going to be... And all this is gonna affect your health. What's this challenge? Consumption of Tide Pods. All right, I know this one. The Tide Pod Challenge. Let's look at the Tide Pod Challenge. <laughs> the pods have been sold since 2012. In late 2017, Tide Pods have become the center of an anti meme, which involves the dare of intentionally consuming the pods. The meme become especially popular with teenagers, and since then, there have been a sharp increase in poisoning incidents. Respond to the growing number of incidents. Google and Facebook started removing videos that feature the challenge, and Procter and Gamble aired numerous advertisements urging people to avoid eating the pods. Oh my goodness, this is just very stupid, guys. Do not do these challenges. Unless you guys really want to get hurt, and in this case, poisoning yourself, do not do this challenge. This this will this could result in death. Let's look at some more challenges. All right, we got all these internet challenges. We already did the Tide Pod Challenge. Ooh, let's look at the Fire Challenge. This is very dangerous, guys. Do not attempt this in real life. You will get hurt attempting this challenge. All right, the Fire Challenge. If you think something called the Fire Challenge sounds dangerous, that's because it definitely is. Basically, it involves people being doused in some sort of flammable liquid, like no plush room before or rubbing alcohol, then having somebody set them on fire for a few seconds. The idea is that the alcohol will burn off quickly and the fire will be extinguished. But that doesn't always happen. For example, a 12-year-old boy from Michigan spent four days in the hospital recovering from secondary burns he got while completing the challenge. <sighs> guys, that is just very stupid. If you guys want to do a challenge, do something safe, like the ball flipping challenge, which I did in the past. Do not do something stupid like, like dousing yourself and rubbing alcohol and setting yourself on fire. Oh, no. This is dangerous. Am I? This is a challenge we're going to do. It's okay, that's just Mountain Dew. I didn't put anything toxic in there. The Bird Box Challenge. Netflix released a movie called Bird Box starring Sandra Bullock. I'm not going to give you guys a specific person for safety reasons, which featured her and her on screen children blindfolding themselves before going outdoors. What should have ended there become a wildly popular challenge at the beginning of the year. The Bird Box Challenge. The challenge involved people posting videos of themselves doing everyday tasks while blindfolded, and as you, and as you can imagine, did not go over well with parents. Netflix, for that matter. The company issued a statement on Twitter in January 2019, urging viewers not to participate in this challenge. Yeah, of course you're not, you're not going to, of course it's actually not safe to complete this challenge. You're not supposed to do anything blindfolded. That's very, that's extremely unsafe. The Vacuum Challenge, also known as the Trash Bag Challenge. The Vacuum Challenge was 
another fortunate 2019 battle hit. But this time, people placed themselves in large plastic bags. These little trash bags tucked all their limbs so they were in a little ball. And had someone vacuum all the air out of the bag. Though it may look funny while participating. Well, particularly disturbing, but the challenge is that how many po parents post to be themselves putting the children in garbage bags and suck the air out with a vacuum? The Daily Beast points out. This goes to show that parents can make terrible internet mistakes, but just like kids can. While you're hopefully not making it any of this extreme, you should know that what you shouldn't be sharing about, what you shouldn't be sharing about your kids on social media. Yes, that's literally unsafe. You're literally, you're literally. You're literally hurting your kids. Like, they're not going to be able to breathe, so you're technically trying to kill your kids. I hope I hope the parents who did this challenge had their kids taken to a foster home, because that's literally child abuse. We're going to not do that challenge. Muno challenges, all these challenges. Let's do another one of these challenges I'm going to find on the internet. Condom challenge, and we're gonna look up the Wikipedia version if the Wikipedia version exists. Okay, the good news is I'm not gonna use this sexually, this is not for sexual pleasure, so it does not violate community guidelines. So, on the account, this is very stupid. Okay, let's look at the very stupid condom challenge. All right, the calm challenges are two viral internet challenges. The first is challenge your mouth, stoning a latex condom through one's nose cavity and the back and into the back of the throat. The second challenge is where a wonderful condom is dropped into a person's head, typically in developing the head of the person to take apart. Let's look at the nose version. The earlier challenge consists of inserting a latex condom into the nostril and stoning it into the nasal cavity or the nose and back through the throat to be pulled out of the mouth. The challenge originated in May 2006 when the video was uploaded onto break.com of a young man successfully completed the challenge. The term, the term condom challenge was coined in May 2012 following the widespread popularity of the cinnamon challenge. But the idea dates back to the early 1990s when the staple mat, the tube, performances at the Jimbo Circus slideshow, slideshow. And videos of challenge attempts date to at least 2007. The challenge went viral in 2013 when world star hip hop posted a video of two young women attempting the challenge, and several people subsequently uploaded videos onto the internet themselves attempting the challenge. This time poses potential truck hazards. Again, guys, do not complete the challenge. Do not try this at home. This is a potential choking hazard. And also, this video is not for children under three years of age. If you're, if you if you have a kid. If you're watching with a person under three years, you should not let them watch this video. This video is so unsafe, and they can imitate whatever they see. Do not, under any circumstances, try this at home, or have anybody else try this. You're going to get hurt trying. Alright, let's look at the layer challenge. The water drop. The layer challenge, popularized in November 2016, involves filling a condom with water and filling it with being dropped on one's head. This often results in the condom enveloping and adhering into the participant's face, giving the impression that they somehow become immersed in the water being held by the condom. The garden is probably not the danger of putting an airside till over one's nose and mouth. Again, that's just, this This right here is just very stupid. Do not try that. That looks dumb. All right, let's look at some more dumb challenges. Dumbest challenges. All right. Let's look at some of the five most dangerous and stupid. These are very stupid. I encourage you guys to not try these challenges. Do not try them. You will get hurt. I, the In My Feelings Kiki Challenge. Jumping out of a movie car with glass to speed is only acceptable if you are the star of an action movie. Given that most of the general public are not professional stuntmen, the premise of this could end in disaster. The, this latest challenge has young people hoping... Hopping out of moving cars just to do a little dance. One of the... In the movie? What? Excuse me. That is very dangerous. You are literally going to get hurt. I don't care if you guys think you're professional. Do not try this. You could get hurt. You, I mean, you will get hurt. And activities like this can be... If you guys see a stuntman doing this, that means he's a professional trying this. Do not replicate. 
More of these stupid challenges. No, I do not want to stay updated. The choking game. This challenge goes by any means, but the goal is always to intentionally cut off oxygen to the brain long enough for the brain for a brief moment and sometimes loss of consciousness. Since all right, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control Prevention accumulated enough evidence to claim that between 1995 and 2008, at least 82 youths with the average of age being 13 have died in the United States as a result of the game. Stupid. Oh, I remember this one. The Cinnamon Challenge. If you guys watched Sniper Wall's video, you guys can totally watch it. All right. Let's look at the stupid challenge. In 2012, the American Association of Poison Control Centers received 222 calls related to the cinnamon challenge, which left kids with throat irritation, and respiratory issues, and even collapsed lungs. 16-year-old Deja Reed was one of the many teenagers who were hospitalized for a collapsed lung after trying to do the cinnamon challenge. She must now also now use an inhaler to control asthma she never had before the accident. Even though four-year-old Matthew Ratter was not participating in the cinnamon challenge, his mother Brianna says that Matthew's accidental uh, and death after inhaling cinnamon powder can be used as a cautionary tale to deter kids from attempting their inner trend. The Salt and Ice Challenge. Uh, this inner challenge has tricked many young people into damaging and scaring parts of their bodies. Because it sounds easy, you put salt on your skin, then place ice on top of it and see how long you can withstand the cold. According to Dr. Mark, director of the Ross Tilly Burn Center at Sunnybrook, if you overcome the digital feeling of pain, it's not because you're tougher or stronger. It's because your nerve endings have been destroyed. Sometimes the nerve destruction can be permanent along with the scarring on the skin. Don't do this challenge. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this awesome video. If you guys want me to do, if you guys want me to do more challenges like these, please hit the like button and the face. And don't forget to subscribe to my wolf pack. And if you're new to my channel, please hit the notification bell so you never, never upload. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.